Dolly Parton, the iconic country music legend, has captivated audiences around the world for decades with her soul-stirring voice, magnetic stage presence, and timeless beauty. At the age of 77, she continues to defy the sands of time, recently making headlines with her astonishing appearance, performing dressed as a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys halftime show. Her iconic look with her towering blonde hair, flashy outfits, and bold makeup will always make Dolly who she is. Dolly has always dared to be different, and that might be one of the reasons we all love her so much. She has claimed to hate exercise, love food, and she also gets excited by drugstore makeup. Today, we will explore what Dolly Parton's secrets to aging so well are and what work the superstar may or may not have gotten done over the years. Dolly Parton's story begins in rural Tennessee, where she was born in 1946 and emerged as a musical prodigy with a voice that echoed the sounds of the Smoky Mountains. As she ascended to stardom in the late 1960s, Dolly's radiant personality and striking features set her apart. Despite her humble beginnings, her career skyrocketed, and she soon became a symbol of unapologetic self-expression and authenticity. On top of her many awards and successes, Dolly's also known for her eclectic look and persona. And in an interview, she once answered a question about how exactly this came to be. The question was, who does Dolly Parton look like? And the queen of country first responded with a laugh and saying, a clown. Who does Dolly Parton look like? Well, a clown? <laughs> Well, on a more serious note, Dolly explained she modeled her look after who they dubbed the town tramp in her hometown back in the day. She said, this woman that used to walk the streets had all this makeup and hair, high heel shoes. I thought she was so beautiful and everybody used to say, oh, she ain't nothing but trash. And I used to say, well, that's what I'm gonna be when I grow up, trash. And that's kind of how I look, but I like to think I'm a little more than that. Over the years, Dolly has been pretty candid about her experiences with cosmetic procedures, openly admitting to enhancements that have contributed to her polished and glamorous appearance. Dolly isn't shy to talk about work she's had done, and over the years, the country legend has had a number of surgeries to enhance her looks. Dolly has had a breast augmentation, breast implants, a brow lift, eyelid surgery, a nose job, and her chin operated on. Not to mention, she's had her face rejuvenated multiple times, but according to her doctor, never a full facelift. A brow lift is a plastic surgery procedure which improves the look of the forehead, brow area, and area around the eyes by lifting the soft tissue here and skin off the forehead and brow. These results? The results last up to 10 years and the average cost of one of these surgeries would be nearly $10,000. According to her surgeon, Dr. John Grossman, he said about Dolly, she's had her face rejuvenated on a number of occasions but not a full facelift. So, it appears that aside from the brow lift and an eye lift surgery, Dolly opts for injections to keep her youthful appearance in the face, which would be Botox and similar options. Not to mention bigger procedures she's had, like a rhinoplasty or nose job and a chin operation would have changed the look of her face as well. So yes, as the years went on, Dolly was more than happy to get cosmetic surgery here and there, but she never lost her dramatic cheekbones, bright eyes, or signature charming smile. And she's had those from the very start. Her surgeon also said about Dolly's breast augmentation, she has a generous bosom which I augmented some years ago. Her her cup size was apparently increased with implants to a 40 double D and apparently she even insured her breasts for about $350,000 each, nicknaming them West Virginia and East Virginia. Unfortunately, Dolly was forced to undergo breast reduction surgery in 2004 after having crippling back and shoulder pains. As well as her cosmetic work, Dolly will enhance her looks by adding a full face of makeup, including a lot of blush and bold lipstick. She also loves rocking long fake nails in bright colors. In 2019, Dolly said, It is true that I look artificial, but I believe that I'm totally real. My look is really based on a country girl's idea of glam. I wasn't naturally pretty, so I make the most of anything I've got. Either way, we gotta admit, the legendary singer looks amazing for her age, with her blonde hair, full lips, and defined eyebrows. 
Another one of Dolly's not-so-secret secrets is that she keeps her makeup on through the night. She said in an interview, I do all my beauty work and cleaning my face in the morning because I usually try to keep my makeup on at night. I never know if there's going to be an earthquake or a tornado and a storm and I'm gonna have to go out in the middle of the night. I don't like to go home and just tear down completely because my poor husband has to look at me. And in the morning when I get up, I start all over again. Put on my makeup and then touch it up through the day. Not to mention Dolly's far from a makeup snob. She loves Maybelline makeup and she also said she uses Max Factor's pan stick makeup in much of her grown up years. For a night out, she likes to add more eyeshadow, more glitter, and a redder or brighter lipstick. Another part of Dolly's exaggerated look is definitely her famous wigs. While her hair is usually full of volume and bleach blonde in color, they're always wigs when she's out in public. She has said in the past, while her natural hair is blonde, it wouldn't style the way she wanted it. She said back in 2016, why not just wear wigs? That way I never have a bad hair day. I have a big hair day, but not a bad hair day. This way, Dolly has the hairstyle she wants all the time. At home, the country icon doesn't wear wigs, but she says she keeps her own hair the same bleach blonde color and a little longer than shoulder length, sometimes tying it up in a scrunchie. Aside from wigs, another thing Dolly doesn't wear at home is sweatpants. The singer said about when she wants to be comfortable, I have my own little house clothes, like a little dress type teddy, a long teddy, and I have a little jacket or shirt to match if I get cold. I call them my baby clothes because they're soft like a baby, but I don't wear sweatpants clothes. Sounds just like something Dolly would say, but I don't know if I could get on board with that. I love my sweatpants. With or without plastic surgery, not all of us might reach aging as well as the iconic Dolly Parton. However, she's certainly proven to be a living legend who's not only graced the world with her incredible talent, but also embraces aging with candidness and positivity. After wrapping up this before and after video, what was your favorite Dolly era and look over the years? Are any of these tips something you might try in the future? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye. Trixie Mattel is Brian Michael Fergus's stage name, a singer, actor, and famed drag queen. While Trixie won RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 3, he competed prior to this in Season 7 as well. While Trixie is easily recognized by her extremely contoured makeup and Barbie-like style, her rise to fame is also marked by her comedy, being one half of a comic duo on Viceland, The Trixie and Katya Show, as well as on YouTube's Uh-huh. From the moment the Drag Race star became a fan favorite, the unique way she dolls up her face was always noticed. However, Trixie didn't always do her makeup that way. At the start of her drag career, she painted her face with a more traditional look, but got bored and was almost going to quit drag altogether. Luckily, Trixie Mattel realized she had the power to turn her stage persona into whatever she dreamed and began to experiment with different looks that turned her into more of a doll than a human. So today, we're going to look at Trixie's before and after transformation. Brian Michael Furcus was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and is half Ojibwe, growing up to a single mother and absent father, while later being subjected to emotional and physical abuse from a homophobic stepfather who would call Brian a Trixie when he acted feminine. As you might have guessed, this inspired Brian's future drag name, while her last name, Mattel, was inspired by her affinity for Mattel Barbie dolls and children's toys. Brian moved in with his grandparents at age 15, a period which Trixie speaks about in the 2019 documentary Moving Part. His grandfather was a country musician who taught Brian to play guitar, which is where his fascination with music ultimately began and this was encouraged by his grandfather as well. Trixie later said about this part of their childhood, My grandfather was a folk musician. I grew up playing guitar and singing at the kitchen table with my grandpa. That was in my blood and there there was an understanding that I'd grow up and be a musician. Well, after high school, Trixie attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee to study musical theater, where she also began dabbling in drag after being introduced to it performing in a production of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Trixie realized that his journey to stardom might move quicker if he put on a dress since his singing career on its own didn't seem as promising to him. While the young queen first performed in drag at La Cage Nightclub in Milwaukee, becoming a regular performer in Milwaukee's drag scene and quickly became a regional staple. 
Trixie said about this, I was living in Milwaukee and performing three nights a week in Chicago, one night in Madison, one night in Milwaukee. Singing wasn't happening, but drag was. I was like, well, music can be my hobby, drag will be my career, and that's okay. I mean, I was dirt broke, but I was paying all my bills doing drag, and I felt like a real artist. I felt fabulous. Trixie attended beauty school in 2014 before withdrawing to participate in RuPaul's Drag Race. In 2015, the confidence Trixie gained on the local scene inspired her to submit the audition tape for the seventh season of the show, where she was accepted on her first attempt. However, showing up to the RuPaul workroom, Trixie became a bit unsure because all the competitors appeared to her as much more talented, diverse, and experienced than herself. But nobody would have known of Trixie's anxiety from the ballsy debut that she made on Drag Race. Fans fell for Trixie and her Barbie clown makeup at first sight, as well as her brilliant comedy. While she was an audience favorite, she was eliminated, placing sixth overall, but becoming the first queen to last more than one episode after being voted to return to the competition. Since her debut on the series, Trixie performed stand-up comedy tours, released a hit album, appeared on American Horror Story, and launched the popular web series Uh Huh, and the Trixie and Katya show with her fellow Drag Race co-star Katya. Of course, Trixie further returned to win the third season of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars in 2018. It's no doubt that Trixie Mattel has her own unique makeup look, and she wants you to know it's supposed to be like that. Since debuting her wild contour face on Drag Race, it's since become legendary in the drag community. Trixie said about this, I want to look like the most made up person in the world. Where else on my face could you put more makeup? There's nowhere. If I died tomorrow, I wouldn't want to look back and feel like, why didn't I go for a bright lipstick? I went for it every day. While she has one of the most recognizable faces in Drag Race history, Trixie's face still has gone through some changes over the years. At the beginning of her career, Trixie painted her face in a more traditional way, but claimed that she was getting bored with the look and she was even on the verge of quitting drag altogether. However, Mattel realized she could turn her stage persona and look into anything she dreamt of. Moving forward, she began experimenting with different looks that turned her into more of a doll than a person. Trixie said she found inspiration in toys that she always wanted to play with as a kid but was always judged for. Trixie's giant express of eyes took on the shape of characters from My Little Pony while her silhouette was inspired by Polly Pocket. And her extreme contour helped to make her look like she was made of plastic, like a Barbie. About her look as Trixie, she revealed, I like being Trixie and I like that makeup. I never wanted to be one of those drag queens that is like a chameleon. I wanted to be like Coco Peru or Lady Bunny where you have a consistent look. She also said that her makeup got bigger following her first appearance on Drag Race, explaining, After Drag Race, I didn't win and I was mad. Everybody who doesn't win Drag Race thinks it's unfair, but I look back and go, oh no, you were awful and you deserved it. But I think I was daring myself to put on more makeup and more makeup. I also got better at it. I got better at placement and being bolder with what the proportions of my features are. A Trixie face is all angles and all balancing. There's a lot on, but there's a lot of balance there. According to Trixie, her makeup full face boasts equally extreme lights and dark, such as a dark eye contrasted with a light lip or vice versa. Just like your classic makeup look, but on steroids. While it's most definitely a look that's helped Trixie stand out from the crowd, not all our fans. Season eight queen Acid Betty attacked Trixie's look when she popped up on screen for a message to Kim Chi during an episode of the backstage series Untucked. She said, look at that ugly makeup, let's be honest, that nose contour is atrocious. As you probably know, Trixie Mattel has found a ton of success in her drag career, winning the third season of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars and then competing on the TV special of RuPaul's Drag Race Hollis Slay's Spectacular and winning in a tie with other competitors. In 2020, Trixie released her third album, Barbara, to acclaim from Rolling Stone, Billboard, People, Entertainment Weekly, and more. She also released a New York Times best-selling book with Katya called Trixie and Katya's Guide to Modern Womanhood and started a podcast with Katya called The Bold and the Beautiful. 
Some more ventures that came along for Trixie included a spot on the judging panel for the Paramount Plus Queen of the Universe singing competition, the Trixie Mattel one night only music comedy special, and then in 2022, Trixie's Discovery Plus reality reno show, Trixie Motel, debuted. Seeing how successful this queen is, I'm sure the future will bring only more for Trixie. But for now, that will conclude today's before and after video. But before we go, answer me this. Do you have a signature makeup look that sets you apart from the rest like Trixie? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat further, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.